Hi, Horns. Um, today we're going to review now some notes. And now that we review rhythms, it's time for us to review the notes on our instrument. Okay, but before we do that, a couple things that we have to talk about. Number one, before any line of music, you will see this symbol. And this is called a treble clef. Now, a treble clef is a symbol that basically tells us that the horn, as an instrument, plays higher notes than some other instruments, like trombone and tuba, for example. Okay? The horn plays, generally speaking, a higher range of notes. Okay? Now, we have a couple tricks to tell us the lines and the spaces of the staff. We can put notes on, on lines where the note is sitting on lines, or we can put notes on spaces where the note is in between two lines of the staff. Okay? So we have some tricks to help us remember the lines and the spaces of the staff. For the lines, we're going to use a sentence. Okay? Five words long, and the first letter of each word is going to tell us which note is on that line. So the sentence we're going to use is every good burger deserves fries. Every good burger deserves fries. Okay, so if I have a, a note on the first line, that, state, that note is E for every. If I have a note on the second line, that's G for good. Okay, the third line is B for burgers, every good burger. The fourth line is every good burger deserves. And the fifth line is every good burger deserves fries, F. E, G, B, D, F. Every good burger deserves fries. Okay. Now for the spaces of the staff, okay, we're going to use just one word, a four-letter word, and each letter goes to the spaces of the staff. That word is face. And hopefully that's easy to remember because face rhymes with space. So F, A, C, E. Okay, face in the space. Okay, so that means if I put a note in the first space, that note is F, because that's the first letter of face. A note in the second space will be F, A, it will be A. The third space, F, A, C. And the fourth space, F, A, C, E. Okay, so as far as our three notes that we learned, we learned A, G, and F. Let's talk about those three notes. Those are the three notes we're going to be working on for a while now. Okay. A, is A in the every good burger deserves fries? Do any of those letters start with A? Every good burger deserves fries. Nope, none of those letters start with A. How about face? Is the letter A in the word face? F, A, right there. So that means that A is going to be the second space of the staff. F, A, C, E. Okay. For G, is G in the sentence every good burger deserves fries? Every good. Okay, it's the second line. So we're going to put that note right on the second line of the staff. Okay. And our last note, F, is it an every good burger deserves fries? Every good burger deserves fries. It is, but here's the tricky part. Okay. The note that we play F, if I got my horn out to play F, and we go, F is a lower note than A and G, the F that we know how to play. There is a higher F out there, but we haven't learned how to play it yet. Okay? So um, since this F is lower than G, it's going to be the first, um, the first letter of face. And so our F is going to be the first space of the staff. Okay? And this is important because every music, when you write it on the staff, how high it's written 
corresponds with how high it should sound to your ear. So if we go A, G, F, we're going, it shows that we're going down in pitch. The pitches are going lower. You go the other way, F, G, A, the notes are going up. So when we put notes on the staff and we're reading that, it really tells a picture of how high or low a note should sound. Okay? So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, um, can, can continue on with this Google form, and that will be good feedback to me whether you understand these concepts. Thank you very much, Horns.